So welcome to Fun Time Travel. Today we're going to talk about one of the more popular topics, uh, one of the most commonly asked questions about Carnival, and that's the Cheers drink package. What does it really cost? Is it worth it? Uh, we'll get into that right after this. So with the Cheers drinking package, the pricing can be a bit confusing. I know when we were first trying to figure it out, we just kept going back and forth, back and forth. Like, does it really right. pay for itself kind of thing? So we're going to try and help you with that. But different prices for buying in advance, they, they actually have different prices if you buy in advance or if you buy on board. So right. it's actually cheaper if you buy it in advance. Also, there's different prices for three and four day cruises as compared to five or more day cruises. Right. So for a three or four day cruise... You know, it's about $60 a day if you buy it on board. It's about $55 a day if you buy it in advance. Um, then when they get over the five-day cruises, you're looking at about $57 a day if you buy it on board and $52 a day if you buy it in advance, which really, that, I think that's why we're doing this video, to help you figure out if you want to buy it because it's clearly cheaper uh, if you buy it in advance. Yes. So here's a chart we put together. Uh, it's got the prices listed out per person. And uh, as you can see, we have a, a, if you buy it on board, this is how much it costs per day if you include the 18% gratuity. And then we've kind of extended it over. So you'll see per day and then the full price. That full price is what it would cost you for the cruise for one person. So say you're on a three-day cruise, it's a $70.74 expense per day. And that breaks out to $212.22 a day or for the entire cruise if you bought it on board. As you can see, it's you know significantly cheaper if you if you move over and you buy it in advance. But now, if there's two people in your cabin and you were to buy it on board, then your entire cost for the cruise for your drink package would be four hundred and twenty-four dollars and forty-four cents for two people. And if you look at it, you know you work your way down. Obviously, the savings gets you know a little more significant if you buy it in advance when you're going on a seven day cruise. Now I know Carnival has some eight and nine and I think maybe in 15 day cruises. And obviously you'll have to do some extrapolation yourself uh, to figure this out. But uh, this is the drink package with your gratuity included because that's what you're actually gonna pay. Um, and then we're gonna break some things out as we move forward, but uh, hopefully this slide can help you out a little bit. So what's included in the Cheers drink package? Well. All spirits, wine and champagne, and beer, including their self-service beer stations. Can I get one of those in my living room? Uh, <laughs> you basically have one in the basement. I do have one in the basement. <laughs> uh, but that's that's only by the glass, and it, but it includes anything under $20. Honestly, most of your drinks on the ship, you're not going to get over $20. If you create some concoction over $20, then you know, yeah. uh, you'll have to pay a, a different price. But uh, it also includes sodas, uh, zero-proof frozen cocktails, including smoothies and juices. And it also includes specialty coffees and hot tea, milkshakes, energy drinks, and bottled water, which was a life scent for our uh, life scent. <laughs> it was a saving grace for us because yeah. I literally drink water all day long. Sure, yeah. And from the time I get up until the time I go to bed and to just have that bottle of water, not having to always go up to the Lido deck to fill a cup or something. It, yeah. was, it was wonderful, so. Yeah, no, I worked out great. And uh, you know, you don't think about that when you buy the drink package, but that's that's honestly a way that it becomes even more worth it. Like, you know, especially if you're trying to get 15 drinks a day in, uh, you're probably gonna wanna drink some water with that. And, and so it really know. comes in handy. But a uh, little bit more that's included in the drink package, you get, 25% uh, discount off the menu price for any spirit, cocktail, or wine by the glass that costs over $20. Uh, also, a 25% discount on uh, bottles of wine and champagne, which uh, can, you know, is nice. Um, and then they have some beverage seminars and classes. They give you 25% off on those as well. So uh, there's some savings there. What's not included? What's not included? So first of all, any beverage that is like promoted and sold in a souvenir glass. So like if you want to get the really cool tiki cups from the tiki right. bar, like the red frog. Or the or, shot glasses. Yeah, or the shot glasses. Like we got the little light up ones. We got all yeah. those. Those, all of those are not included. So you have to pay, you know, pay for them separately. Um, bottles of liquor. Mm -hmm. So like especially if you want to get something set to your room. Right. Right. You know that bottle of liquor is not included. Um, beverages offered at the gangway. Mm -hmm. So as you're going on board 
in. <laughs> Would you like it? Yes, and they're they're coming around. Yeah. All those that's that's not included. So you really got to right. watch them. Now beverages that you buy off the ship at any port of call. Obviously, if you're in port somewhere and you're at a restaurant, that's not included in your drink package. But uh, one thing that is interesting, Princess K and Half Moon K, those are not included either. So when you get off the ship, uh, expect to pay for your drinks in in those ports. Uh, shareables like uh, pitchers of beer or tubes or buckets or, or whatever, yeah. uh, those are not included. Um, I do believe you get 25% off on those though, but that's, I'm not sure. I can't find anything documented on that. Uh, beverages like the, the wine machine that they have in the libraries on some of the ships, which seems like the best way to sit in the library. Yeah. Uh, Freshly squeezed orange juice that yeah. they serve in the Havana bar. Now, one thing I do want to remind you though, Juice, you can get free juice, coffee, and on the water Lido. on the Lido. Right. But it's not free everywhere else, like even in the dining room. Like in the main dining room for brunch, yeah. they have a special that that is free if you have the drink package, but it's not free if you don't. So there's some tricky things. And then some of the bars have like, they've got food items. Uh, those are not included. Uh, some beverage programs, the merchandises or cigars and cigarettes, not included. What are the prices of drinks? You're like, okay, I know how much the drink package costs, but how is it worth it? Well, beer, you know, it's six to seven ninety-five. Uh, wine by the glass, eight to fourteen dollars. Mixed drinks, seven to twenty dollars. And then your your specialty cocktails can be anywhere between nine and thirteen bucks. But again, souvenir glasses, premium selections sometimes cost more. Sure. Uh, the sodas, you know, I mean. It's all kind of, you know, some of that's inexpensive, but it all adds up. And, and all of this would be included, except for your souvenir glasses and whatnot, all included in your drink package. Mm -hmm. So what's your break-even point? This is where it gets tricky. Yeah. So we will put a link in the description to a site that we found with various current drink menus on it that was very helpful. Super helpful, it's, yeah. It was very helpful. And, yeah. Yeah, so here's the hard thing. you got to know what you're going to drink. And I'll say this, on a cruise with nowhere to go, not in a bad way, nowhere to go, no responsibilities, nowhere to drive, you, chances are you're going to drink a little more. But we found that the, with, based on the average drink prices, about eight beers a day gets you to your break-even point. Now that's, you know, an average. So if you drink on average eight beers a day or five glasses of wine or four mixed drinks. Now maybe on a port day you drink a little less, maybe on a sea day you drink a little more. We just found that for us, um, about six drinks a day was our break even point. And again, it wasn't like we were set out to break even. No, but then you add in all the waters yep. and all the other stuff, all the other kinds of drinks. And it's like, wow, we really, mm -hmm. thank goodness we did that because right. we would have broke the bank. You know. Yeah, yeah. There, there's some great calculators online. I, we found some here, and then they change. But you can go out and look those up. But like I said, it was kind of a mixture of drinks. You know, a glass of wine at eleven bucks, a uh, mixed drink at nine bucks, some specialty thing at fourteen dollars, and and all of a sudden we realized, hey, this this was paying for itself. So some key restrictions. Yes. Uh, they yeah. have a limit of fifteen alcoholic drinks per day. So. Um, Rumor has it, too, that they will cut you off at 15 even if you don't have the package. But that does not include, like, if you're the getting water and right. coffee and all that stuff. It's just the alcoholic beverages. Right. And again, we want, to, we want to reiterate this. Every adult over 21 must get the drink package, even if they're a non-drinker. It has to be purchased for the entire cruise. And here's something that sometimes pops up. You'd only buy one drink at a time. And then you gotta wait five minutes before you have your next purchase. Unless you're doing like a bottle of water. Because they would let you get yeah, yeah, yeah. like an alcoholic drink and a bottle of water at the same time. So. And once you find a bartender that you kind of get to know, we would, uh, a lot of times, Melissa would be sitting at the table and I would just go up with both of our, our sign and sale cards and they'd let me get, but you know, when you, saw, you they scan your card, they get a picture of your face. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once they kind of knew you, they, they weren't, it wasn't that big a deal, but it's definitely something to consider. So is it worth it? It was for us. It definitely was for us. Uh, it really depends on your habits. You know, if you're only going to drink one or two drinks a day, it's probably not worth it. Uh, on our first cruise, we really didn't know. Yeah. And, and I'm the nerd in the family. And so <laughs> I did the math to the point that she was like, honey, just buy the drink package. <laughs> but, I, you know, I didn't want to throw, throw money away. 
but you know, so we thought we'd get close. We didn't know if it would be worth it or not. We didn't want a bad surprise at the end. And well, we we discovered that uh, it was definitely it was worth, worth it for us. Well, and the cool thing is you can look on the app True. and track. Yep. And so we could see like, oh my goodness, wow, this really was worth it. Right. Like, cause you don't, you don't think about how many bottles of water you're drinking or juice or soda, well, like sure. in between all that. So yeah. Yeah, so you know you'll need to, like I said, ports, port days versus sea days. If you think you're going to average six to seven drinks a day, alcoholic drinks a day, yeah. uh, then it's probably worth considering uh, because you're going to get really close. And again, you just one of the you have a great vacation, a great cruise. You come to the end of that cruise, and and if you don't have the drink package, now you've got a three hundred, five hundred, seven hundred dollar bill that you're like, how did that happen? Yeah. Um, it's, you know. It's, it, it's for kind of, I think it's, your mileage will vary. It's up to you to kind of decide, but it was definitely worth it for us. You just have to have a good handle on what you think, what you think your drink consumption is going to be. So hope that helped you and uh, happy sailing and we'll see you next week.